Uh, Sasa karibuni sana kwenye hii ya Facebook Live uh, presentation. Uh, jina langu ni Frank Minja. Uh, mimi ni daktari wa mambo ya radiology kutoka Tanzania ambaye niko uh, chuo kikuu cha Yale uh, University huko Marekani. Sasa hivi tunaongea kutoka New Haven, Connecticut ambayo iko Marekani uh, uh, East Coast. Uh, so dhumuni la mazungumzo uh, ya leo ni ku, uh, kujaribu kushare kidogo uh, makala ilitoka kama karibu wiki moja iliyopita ikizungumzia kazi ambayo tulikuwa tunafanya pale Moi uh, lakini makala ile ilikuwa imeandikwa kwa Kiingereza kwa hiyo nikapenda tupate fursa ya kuongea uh, zaidi kwa Kiswahili na pia kukaribisha maswali nadhani watu wengi walikuwa na maswali uh, namshukuru sana bwana uh, Bandio ambaye alinihoji kwenye kipindi chake cha, cha jukwaa langu wa uh, Jumatatu iliyopita lakini ule muda kidogo ulikuwa wa matatizo uh, kule Tanzania. Tulifanya huko saa moja za usiku ambayo ni karibu alfajiri uh, kule Tanzania. Kwa hiyo kidogo tujaribu uh, kufanya Jumamosi mida kama hii kwa hiyo saa hizi ni saa moja za usiku uh, Dar es Salaam hopefully muda huu kidogo ni mwafaka kwa watu ambao wako base Tanzania. Basi uh, kwa kadri sali itakavyoruhusu tutatumia dakika kumi au tano za mwanzo kuelezea tu kitu ambacho tumejaribu kufanya na kitu ambacho kilikuwa kimeandikwa kwenye makala na baada ya hapo nadhani tutaruhusu uh, maswali ili tujaribu ku, kungamua zaidi nini uh, fursa ambayo watu uh, ambao wako kwenye diaspora wanaweza kufanya na pia ambao watu wako nyumbani. Kwa hiyo lengo kubwa ni kujaribu kuelezea tulichofanya kwa undani kidogo na pia kuhamasisha watu wengi zaidi wa wajaribu kujikita kwenye sekta afya ambayo ni inabadi na changamoto nyingi pamoja na sekta uh, ya elimu. Basi bila ku uh, uh, so kwa hiyo tulichofanya ambacho kiliandikwa kwenye makala uh, ni kwamba tulileta teknolojia uh, ya kushare image za x-ray uh, pale hospitali ya Moi. Hospitali ya Moi iko Dar es Salaam ni hospitali ya mifupa na na magonjwa ya ubongo na utu wa mgongo na iko uh, uh, ni taasisi na inajitegemea lakini iko campus moja na pamoja na hospitali ya taifa ya Mwimbili. Kwa hiyo mimi nilikuwa pale uh, mwaka 2014 mpaka 2015 ambayo nilichukua mwaka mzima kutoka kazini kwenda kujaribu ku, uh, kuleta huu mfumo. Kwa hiyo mfumo unaitwa ni mfumo wa PAX. Uh, PAX kwa kirefu chake ni Picture Archiving and Communication System. Ni jina refu kidogo lakini kwa maana tuko kwenye uh, mtandao wa kijamii nadhani kidogo labda kuelezea kwenye kwa mfano wa mtandao wa kijamii kidogo inakuwa rahisi kwa watu kuelewa kwa kifupi tunachofanya na mfumo huu ni kubadilisha picha za x-ray na kuzifanya ziingie kwenye mfumo wa kidijitali kwa hiyo kwa nyie ambao mnanisikilizia hapa kwenye uh, uh, kwenye simu zenu za mkononi ama kwenye kompyuta wote natumaini na mna facebook kwa vile mnaweza kuingia hapa na pia labda mna whatsapp kwa hiyo wengi mnaweza basically mkapiga picha kwenye WhatsApp and then picha hiyo ikasambaa kwenye mtandao. Kama hivi ambavyo tunaongea sasa hivi na watu wako dunia mzima wanaweza kutusikiliza, basi huo mtandao wa Pax basically unasaidia zile picture za X-ray zionekane kwenye kamtandao wa ndani. Uh, na kuondoa tu hofu kwamba sio kwamba picha yako kiweko kwenye mtandao wa Pax unaweza kaiona popote. Mimi nikiwa hapa Marekani siwezi kuzisoma zile picha ambazo ziko pale moyo. Kwa hiyo kuna haja ya kuwa na hofu a uh, kwamba picha zako zikiingia kwenye mtandao wa Pax zitaonekana dunia nzima. Sasa ule mtandao unasaidia vipi? Uh, so umesaidia kwa kiasi kikubwa sana kupunguza gharama za za uh, film za X-ray. Kwa hiyo tulipofika pale uh, Moi uh, mwaka 2014 walikuwa wakitumia zaidi um, mfumo wa, wa maganda ya X-ray. Nadhani wagonjwa wengi Tanzania uh, watakuwa wamezoea kwamba wakienda kwa hospitali wakapiga x-ray wanapewa x-ray yako x-ray yao kwenye ganda la x-ray. Sasa kila lile ganda moja la x-ray lina gharama yake ni dola mbili na nusu ambayo ni karibu takriban shilingi za kitanzania elfu tano. Na ukiangalia pale moi kwa, kwa siku moja wanaona wagonjwa karibu mia. Kwa hiyo kila kila siku ya Mungu akifungua pale moi ilikuwa kwamba laki tano zinatakiwa zipatikane ili haya maganda ya x-ray Uh, ya yaweze yaweze kutosheleza. Kwa hiyo katika taasisi zetu kama unavyojua uhaba wa film na uhaba wa pesa unakuwa unachangia kwa kiasi kikubwa. Sasa tukileta huu mfumo wa Pax ni kwamba zile uh, X-ray hazina haja ya kuwa kwenye ganda. Kwa hizo taonekana moja kwa moja na daktari kupitia mfumo wa Pax. Kwa hiyo daktari atazifungua zile picha kama jinsi ambavyo wewe utafungua picha kwenye simu yako ukaangalia basi atafungua kwenye kompyuta yake pale Moi atayaangalia. 
na akipenda daktari ambaye yuko either yuko wadini, yuko kwenye uh, theater ama yuko kwenye uh, uh, conference room popote alipo kwenye ule akiwa ndani ya taasisi ya moyo ataweza kuziona zile picha akazifungua na akaendelea na kazi zake na kumwangalia mgonjwa na kizuri zaidi ni kwamba ukishafungua ile picha ile picha itoki kwenye ule mfumo Yaani hiyo pax ina inahifadhi ile picha. Kwa hiyo mgonjwa pia hana haja ya kusahau uh, ile x-ray nyumbani. Kwa hiyo labda akija labda tuseme amevunjika mguu, akapigwa picha yake ya x-ray, ile picha ya x-ray inabakia pale moyo. Akirudi baada ya matibabu kuja kumwangalia daktari, uh, kuangaliwa na daktari labda baada ya mwezi mmoja hivi, ile daktari anaweza kafungua ile picha akajua mgonjwa alikuwa amepata ame, ame uh, ajali gani uh, mwezi mmoja uliopita. Hiyo ni tofauti na sasa hivi ambapo tuseme umepiga picha yako nje uh, kwenye hospitali mbadala na ukaja labda muhimbili unataka kupata uh, opinion mbadala kutoka daktari mwingine yule daktari italazimika wewe uje na ile x-ray yako na ganda uje nayo pale muhimbili sasa labda usema umetokea temeke ama umetokea mbeze ama tegeta na kwa bahati mbaya labda umesahau hilo ganda lako la x-ray yule daktari ana jinsi itabidi akurudishe huko ulikotoka ili urudi na ile ganda uweze kuja kumletea aje kutoa uh, mawaidha yake Okay so so hilo hiyo ndio uh, 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 manufaa moja. Sasa kitu kikubwa zaidi ambacho tuliona pale moyo ni kwamba imesaidia kuleta um, ku, uh, imesaidia ku save hela kwa kiasi kikubwa sana. Kwa hiyo kwa mwaka wa kwanza ambao tulifanya ku, kuweka huo mfumo, mfumo tukakuta kwamba uh, tume tumeokoa karibu uh, Elfu, uh, shilingi elfu, uh, dola elfu stini za kimarekani kwa, 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 kwa mwaka na tayari ule mfumo umesha kaa pale karibu miaka mitatu na, na uduma za x-ray zinaendelea sasa unakuta kwamba wa, pale tangetu kufunge mfumo wa PAX uh, uh, taasisi ya moi meweza kuokoa karibu uh, dola laki mbili uh, uh, za kimarekani ambazo si haba na hizo ni kulinganisha na kwamba tulijaribu kwanza ku, ku propose mfumo wa commercial ambao watalipia leseni na huo mfumo ilikuwa kwamba uh, wa, uh, waweke mtaji wa karibu 1060 dola ili uweze kufungwa kwa miaka mitatu. Kwa hiyo utaona kwamba katika kufunga mfumo kwa mwaka mmoja tu ile hela yote imerudi na kadri taasisi inavyoendelea uh, 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 tunaendelea kuokoa hela na mfumo unaendelea ukimarika. Kwa hiyo nadhani hichi ni kitu ambacho uh, kwa kweli uh, tunge, tungependa sana kwamba kisambaye ki nchi uh, nchi nzima ya Tanzania uh, na ndio maana hizi hizi makala na hizi presentation tunazofanya ni kwa, kwa kushare na, na, na wadau kwa ujumla pamoja na serikali pamoja na, na wananchi pamoja na diaspora ili kuchangia uh, uh, kuhamasisha ili mu, Uh, ili zaidi uh, yani tusema tuchangamkie hii fursa kwa sababu nadhani ni teknolojia ambayo inawezekana na ili kwamba watu wanavuulizia kwamba je yeah, uh, mfumo tunalipia kiasi gani so mfumo wa PAX ambao tumeufunga pale moi uh, ni kitu ambacho tunaita ni open source kwa hiyo open source maana yake nini kwamba hauhitaji kulipia leseni na ni mfumo ambao uko madhubuti na ambao kwa kweli umeshafanya kazi nzuri sana pale Tanzania kuna hospitali nyingi kubwa ambazo zinatumia huu mfumo pamoja na hospitali ya Aga Khan, hospitali ya, ya, ya Taifa Mwimbili, pamoja na hospitali nyingine za binafsi pale Dar es Salaam. Kwa hiyo sio kwamba ni mfumo mgeni, ni vile tu hatuja, hatuja usambaza huu mfumo kwenye sehemu zote uh, za hospitali Tanzania. Na, na awali ya yote ni kwamba uh, zile X-rays zinatakiwa tuweze kuzibadilisha kuingia kwenye mfumo wa digitali kabla tujaweza kuleta huo mfumo wa PAX. So kwa kifupi hiyo ndio safari ambayo tulifanya uh, mwaka 2014 na, na ndio kwa kweli uh, 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 asante sana Asha kwa kujiunga huu ndio mfumo ambao tulifunga pale na ndio ambayo hii makala iliyotoka uh, wiki mbili zilizopita ambayo imesambaa na kwa kweli imepokelewa kwa kiasi kikubwa sana na kwa kweli imekuwa tumepata uh, uh, hongera nyingi sana na kwa kweli ni kitu ambacho kimekuwa cha faraja na pia kimenihamasisha mimi ni nijitoe zaidi kujiweka kwenye hii mitandao kijamii <laughs> mara ya mwisho mimi kuwa Facebook ilikuwa ni mwaka 1999 kwa hiyo ni karibu miaka 20 iliyopita kwa hiyo kwa wale ambao ni wa bobezi wa mtandao wa Facebook nadhani mtaangalia profile picture yangu mtazania kwamba ah, kidogo miaka imepita lakini ndio ndio hali halisi kwa hiyo katika kupata hii fursa makala kwa kweli imenihamasisha 
kujua kwamba watu kweli wanajaa na kiu ya kuona uh, na kuhusika ku, zaidi na, 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 na hizi uh, kazi ambazo tunazifanya kwa ni furaha yangu kubwa sana kwa hiyo nitaka tu nisimame hapo nianze sasa kuchukua, kuchukua maswali naanza kuyajibu uh, kwa wale ambao utaniuliza uh, kwa Kiswahili nitajibu kwa Kiswahili and those are going to ask me in english i'm going to answer in english uh, kwa kweli uh, lengo zaidi ni kuongelea kwa Kiswahili zaidi kwa sababu tunataka tuna hizi habari ziwafikie watanzania wengi uh, lakini tutajaribu kutafsiri tutaona itakwaje kwanza simama hapo sasa hivi ni saa 5 na dakika 20 basi muda huu uliobakia tutaendelea tukuulizana maswali naona hapo Lunda ameshanirushia uh, swali moja anauliza nikipiga x-ray mwi mbili kwa kutumia pax nikataka second opinion let's say miko cheni hospital wapo kwenye huu mtandao hilo ni swali zuri sana so kwa kifupi jibu lake ni hapana uh, jibu lake ni hapana kwa sababu kama nilivyokuambia hapo awali huu mtandao sio kwamba uko mtandao hauko wazi yani hauko kwenye sio kwamba uh, sehemu yote unaweza uka, u, ukaingia kwenye kwenye zile picha kwa hiyo ili mikocheni hospital waweze kuona picha za x-ray za mwimbili ni kwamba uh, lazima kuwe na uh, arrangement kati ya mikocheni na mwimbili ili zile packs ziweze kuunganishwa kwa hiyo ni kwamba tu ule makubaliano hayajaweka sio kwamba ni kitu ambacho hakiwezekani ni sasa ni kwamba yani wewe uh, kwenye simu yako una picha lakini kama mtu sio contact wako hawezi kuziona zile picha kwa hiyo ukimpa ruhusa kuona zile picha obviously ataweza kuziona kwa ni katika kutoa ruhusa hizi ili ile mitandao ionane na na hicho pia ni, ni kilio changu kwa kiasi fulani kwa sababu naona hata pale mwimbili na moi bado hujaingia kwenye makubaliano kiasi kwamba x-ray ikipigwa mwimbili ionekana kwa uraisi moi ama x-ray ikipigwa moi ionekana kwa uraisi a mwimbili uh, wakati ule niko nafanya kazi pale uh, moi uh, nilikuwa nasoma uh, x-ray ambazo ziko Marekani kwa hiyo tunaona kwamba teknolojia inaruhusu Uh, na kwa kweli hii mitandao ni iko yani ni very powerful uh, kwa hiyo ni kiasi cha kuingia makubaliano. Tunakaribisha maswali mengine karibuni sana. Na kuongelea tu hapo Lunda ku, kuingia zaidi kwenye hit itasaidia ita, ita vipi haya makubaliano? Itasaidia kuboresha huo uh, mfumo wa rufaa kwa sababu uh, tulipo pale uh, Tanzania wagonjwa wanaenda kwenye 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 hospitali kubwa kwa njia ya rufaa. Kwa hiyo tuseme kwa ndugu yetu ambaye yuko Tabora tuseme uh, x-ray imepigwa na wangetaka labda ujuzi ambao huko unapatikana mwimbili tu sio lazima yule mgonjwa atoke mpaka Tabora na ganda lake la x-ray ile x-ray ingeweza kutupwa kwenye mtandao wa Pax and then daktari ambaye yuko mwimbili angeweza kuiona and then pia akatoa ushauri je kama mgonjwa ahamishwe kutoka Tabora aje mwimbili ama kama kuna vipimo vingine vya zaidi vinatakiwa vifanyike So dok, uh, Lunda anaendelea kuuliza Dr. Frank nani wahusika kwa enable haya makubaliano kwa kweli haya makubaliano ambayo yanatakiwa yapo yawekwe katika uh, uh, level ya kitaasisi na na kadri nadhani kama hii mifumo ya Pax itakapoendelea kusambaa nchini uh, kutakuwa na, na, na umuhimu ya kwamba hii mifumo lazima ianze kuonana kwa sababu uh, haitakuwa vizuri sana kwamba kila hospitali ifunge mfumo wake mwingine wa Pax and then hiyo mifumo isiweze kuingiliana lakini teknolojia imeshasambaa kwa hiyo hata hapa Yale uh, tuna hospitali uh, takriban kumi uh, ama kumi na tano ambazo ziko kwenye mfumo mmoja na kuna system nyingine ambazo zina hospitali nyingi zaidi ya hivyo. Kwa hiyo sio issue ya teknolojia ni issue tu ya kujipanga kujua kwamba tunaitumiaje Pax ili kuboresha um, mfumo mzima wa rufaa wa gonjwa. Amani Kitale anauliza ana, ana ulipropose hii change mwimbili walipokeaje mwanzoni na and what's their feedback now i want to know whether the government learned something so they can replicate somewhere else in our government hospitals uh, kwa pale mwimbili naona bado changamoto bado inaendelea uh, kwa kweli uh, bado again huu ni mfumo ambao uko katika kitaasisi uh, kwa hiyo ni kitu ambacho bado tunaendelea kuwa ku, uh, i guess kuwa encourage kwamba wa, wa consider kufanya hichi kitu hasa hasa zaidi kama sasa hivi unavyoona kwamba kuna hospitali mpya ya ya mloganzila imefunguliwa na sijajua kama uh, Pax ya Mloganzila inaonana na Pax ya Mwimbili ama inaonana na Pax ya Moi. Na kwa kweli nadhani tulivyoongelea tu hapo utaona kwamba madaktari ni wale wale ambao wako Mwimbili na wale wale wako Mloganzila. Kwa hiyo I would hope yani ningetegemea kwamba wale madaktari sio lazima mpaka warudi Mwimbili kuziona za X-ray and so forth. Lakini again katika kuhamasisha kuonyesha hiyo hii fursa nadhani uh, ayo matatizo ya makubaliano yanaweza yakatatuliwa. Ya, ya, ya Vipi hizo hospitali kubwa kama Bugando na KSMC unajua wanafanya nini wao? Uh, one, kwa kifupi KSMC hawana Pax, uh, namba mbili Bugando actually sisi tulifunga mtandao huu wa Pax. 
na tulikuwa pamoja na, na Touch Foundation ambao walikuja pale Moi wakaona kazi nzuri ambazo imefanyika ime, ime na wakapenda sana pale Moi na wakajua kama huu mtandao unafanya vizuri pale Moi basi hauna shaka utafanya vizuri hata pale uh, Bugando basi uh, kwa Moi ilichukua takriban miaka miwili ili kuingia mpaka tukaingia kwenye pilot phase ya kufanya ile shughuli lakini kwa pale Bugando actually ilichukua tu miezi miwili ya planning na kwa kweli tulikuwa na wafadhili wazuri ambao ilipia server wakalipia na computer za kufanya kwa hiyo ni kazi ya siku tatu tu ulifika pale tukafunga zile server na, na ni vizuri pia nikashare kwamba uh, tulikuwa tunafanya kazi vizuri sana na Gilbert Herman wa Softnet na na, 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 na kijana wake Israeli ambaye alikuja uh, akatusaidia ku, kufunga hiyo hiyo mitambo kwa hiyo pale Buganda wana hii apax ambayo tumfunga moi na inaendelea inaendelea kufanya vizuri mpaka leo Uh, karibu sana uh, uh, Edgar Peter from Maryland US uh, umesema kama namkolea vizuri daktari naona mfumo huu umejikita kwa hospitali za serikali nisaishi kama nimekosea je kuna mpango wa kuwezesha huu mfumo unganike na utumike kwa hospitali za binafsi uh, uh, kwa kweli uh, inawezekana na, na umekosea kidogo maana nime kama nilivyo uh, sema hapo awali kuna hospitali za binafsi ambazo zinatumia mfumo huu uh, hospitali mbili ambazo najua zinatumia mfumo huu ni I believe ni hospitali ya Gakan for sure na hospitali ya TMJ ambazo zimefunga mfumo huu na kuna kuna vituo vingine vya diagnostic center ambavyo tayari vina mfumo huu uh, sasa katika kuwawezesha Uh, I guess hapo ndio ina, ina kuna kuwa na, na fursa ya kujua ni jinsi gani tunaweza kusoma kushirikana nao lakini ni kitu ambacho kinawezekana sio kwamba kiwezekani lakini mahitaji ya hospitali binafsi na mahitaji ya hospitali za serikali kidogo huwa yanatofautiana na uwezo wao wa ku, wa ku uh, kutoa zile kompyuta ambazo zitawezesha kuja kufunga mfungo mfumo wa PAX pia ule uwezo wao unatofautiana lakini nadhani sio kitu ambacho hakiwezekani kwa kweli nadhani Pax japokuwa tumesema ni, ni kitu inaonekana kwamba ni neno kubwa nadhani tutumie kama tu ni network ya image za x-ray labda tukaangalia kwa kwa lugha rahisi kidogo nadhani itaweza watu kidogo kuelewa kwamba ni sasa na kuniuliza je unaweza kufunga WhatsApp kwenye simu tofauti na kwa kwa, kwa, kwa lugha haraka jibu jibu ni ndio so Isaac Maro anasema ni wazi kuwa uh, uh, Pax ina faida kubwa je kuna mpango wote wa kuishawishi serikali itumie teknolojia kwenye hospitali zote ili kurahisisha rufaa Uh, jibu ni ndio na tupo katika maongezi sasa hivi i mean i guess ni well sio maongezi kiasi ni kwamba naahamasisha yani hii presentation ninayofanya ni jaribu kuwafikia kuwa wadau wote meaning tunawafikia wagonjwa tunawafikia uh, familia zao hopefully tunawafikia viongozi wa serikali na ili waelewe kwamba kuna hii fursa kwa hiyo tunajaribu kueleza kwenye lugha rahisi uh, uh, kadri anavyoweza na kwa kweli tunaweza kuwasiliana ili kujua ni jinsi gani tunaweza kufanya hii kitu lakini kwa kweli sasa hivi radiolojia ndio inaongoza katika ku, kusaidia uh, utabibu wa kisasa. Uh, nimetoa kwenye mfano kama tulivyoongea kwenye radio juzi majuzi ni kwamba kila mgonjwa anayekuja kwenye hospitali yetu ya Yale hapa nilipo sasa hivi na kila mgonjwa anayeingia kwenye hospitali hii atapimwa kipimo cha radiolojia kwa namna moja au nyingine. Atapimwa either x-ray, atapimwa ultrasound, atapimwa CT scan, atapimwa MRI scan, atapimwa PET scan, atapimwa chochote. Hapa nilipokaa ni hospitali yetu ya kansa. Kwa hiyo wagonjwa wote wa saratani wote wanatumia vipimo vya vya, vya radiolojia. Sasa ili kuingia kwenye utabibu wa kisasa ni lazima tuweze kuboresha mfumo wa radiology na jinsi ya kuboresha mfumo wa radiology zile picha ziweze kusambaa ziweze kuwafikia wataalamu kiraisi. Kwa hiyo nadhani ni kitu ambacho kwa kweli tunakipigia debe na hapa tu ni mwanzo. Kwa hiyo kwa wale ambao mnasikiliza na pengine kwenye mitandao yenu mnaweza kusaidia kuelimisha na kujua ni jinsi gani ambavyo tunaweza tukaharakisha huu mchakato usambae zaidi, uh, basi hiyo itasaidia sana. Uh, Flaviana Selina Tesha anauliza, "Je, huu mfumo wa mtandao Uh, um fumo wa mtandao unaweza kushare other images including CT scan, PET scan na ultrasound kwa kifupi jibu ni ndio. Uh, ah yeah, inafanyika vipi? Sasa hizi hizi picha zote za radiology actually zinawekwa kwenye format moja. Hiyo format inaitwa format ya DICOM, D I C O M. Yaani form, format ya DICOM. Ukishaweka zile mfumo kwamba umeziweka kwenye uh, format ya DICOM uh, kama nilivyo type up, ukiweka huko kwamba umeweka kwenye mfumo wa DICOM basi ile pax machine inaweza kaziona ikaziona zile picha na inaweza kazi, ikazifungua. Uh, na yeah. so, so any, any picha yote ya radiolojia ikishawekwa kwenye mfumo 
wa DICOM then uh, mfumo wa packs unaweza kuziona kwa hiyo utaona kwamba uh, again tukirudia kwenye uh, uh, picha za kawaida na, mi, na mitandao ya kijamii ni kwamba picha yako ikiwa kwenye mfumo wa JPEG uh, basi inaweza kasambaa na inaweza kafunguka by uh, sim yote ambayo ina, inaweza kuziona picha Asanteni sana kwa maswali kwa, kwa kidogo yananirahisishia kazi ya kujaribu kuelezea na kujua ni nini uh, zaidi ambacho nyinyi mgependa nieleze kwa undani zaidi Ngauliza tu wale ambao mmejoin ambao especially kama mmejoin from Tanzania labda tu ungenisaidia kusema uh, mko Tanzania maeneo gani ili ju, tujue at least uh, tumefikia mikoa mingapi Tanzania tuna mtu mmoja hapo kutoka uh, Tabora uh, mwanzoni labda wengine ambao wapo pia wangetu wangetu wangetuambia ili uh, tujue Karibu sana ngomeni <laughs> say asante sana alunda uh, tell us more about your plan to increase rads in tanzania uh, asante sana hilo hilo ni swali nzuri ambalo kwa kweli linapelekea moja kwa moja after the packs so say hili nadhani nitalizungumzia both in english and both in uh, in kiswahili um tuanzie tu kwa, kwa kiswahili hapo Tanzania tuna uhaba mkubwa sana wa, wa madaktari waliobobea kwenye fani ya radiolojia. Uh, kwa kifupi hapo Tanzania tuna watu wa radiology uh, uh, stini au sabini kwa kwa nchi nzima. Kwa nchi nzima ambayo uh, sasa hivi population yetu ni watu milioni stini Kwa hiyo kwa yani kwa uwiano wa watu wa radiology hapo tuna upungufu mkubwa mkubwa sana. Ndakupa tu mfano hapo ni ipo kaa tuko idarani tuna Uh, madaktari wenzangu wa radiology tupo karibu stini sabini na tuna wanafunzi wa radiology yani residents na fellows wa radiology karibu stini uh, mpaka sabini kwa hiyo dokta yani watu ambao tunawafundisha ni zaidi karibu zaidi ya nchi nzima ya Tanzania na kwa uhiana kwa kweli ni ngumu sana yani hata ningependa vipi nisingeweza kusoma picha za x-ray za ct za mri za watu wote Tanzania kwa hiyo nadhani kuna umuhimu sana wa kuboresha uh, mafunza ya kisasa ya, ya radiologist na, na tuna mpango mkubwa sana na tumejikita tayari tuko hapo Muhas ambao uh, wana, wana tayari wana program ya, ya kutrain radiologist na tupo tuna support uh, kwa kweli lengo langu ni kujaribu kuongeza uh, radiologist wa Tanzania tufikie japo elfu moja na ndio tutachukua muda kwa kwa kasi ambayo tulionayo sasa hivi itachukua muda karibu mwaka 2035 au 2040 kwa kasi ambayo tunaenda nayo sasa hivi na sidhani kama hiyo ni kasi ambayo kwa kweli ni inatakiwa hiyo kasi iongezeke na tunajaribu kujikita na program nyingine ili tuongeze kasi tufikie hapo labda kwenye uh, mwaka 2030 na 30 tufikie japo radiologist uh, uh, 1000 kwa nini 1000 sasa ukishafikia radiologist ukivuka 500 ukaenda like 1000 unafikia kitu ambacho tunaita critical mass kwamba ukishafikia critical mass katika wale 500 umo umo ndani kutakuwa na walimu huko umo umo ndani kutakuwa na watafiti umo umo ndani kutakuwa na watu ambao watasambaa wataingia mikoa yote mingine kwa hiyo si kwa kweli sidhani kama yeye utasema una radio 67 kwamba atatusheleza mikoa yote 30 35 ya Tanzania yani sasa sasa yeye tutakuwa na radio jes wawili kwa mkoa mmoja ambayo kwa kweli haitoshelezi kabisa uh, kwa 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 hiyo uh, swali jingine ni radio swa ngapi wanatakiwa watosheleze kwa katika nchi zilizoendelea wana, wana estimate kwamba unatakiwa uwe na radiologist mia kwa population ya watu milioni moja. Kwa hiyo kwa Tanzania tuna watu milioni sitini tunatakiwa tuwe na radiologist of sita sio sitini yani tuwe na of sita yani mara mia zaidi na tulicho nacho. Na huu ni haba radiologist huko dunia nzima hata Uingereza uh, wana huu haba, Japan wana huu haba, hawajafikia hiyo namba ya radiologist mia kwa watu milioni moja. Kwa ni tatizo ambalo liko la dunia nzima. Kwa hiyo switch tu kidogo na ngele nalo kidogo kwa Kiingereza just in case uh, we have people who may not understand Swahili. So the question is really about how what is our plan to increase rads in Tanzania. So as I was saying, we have very few radiologists in Tanzania. It's a very young specialist. Uh, we really need to ramp up our training. So currently we only have 60 to 70 radiologists in Tanzania and we really need to have at least uh, a thousand are radiologists for our population and meanwhile with population growth 
by the year 2035 or 2040, when we would project to have that number of 1,000 radiologists, our population is going to be well beyond 100, 100 million. So at the current pace, it really has to get uh, uh, ramped up. And uh, the good news is that there's a lot of excitement around this particular topic. Uh, global health is a very, very popular topic among my colleagues, among the new trainees in the USA. And actually, my department already sends uh, four residents a year to support the radiology training program uh, at uh, Muimbili in Muhas. And actually, we're going to be going there in February to also support the program. So my residents spend uh, four weeks uh, at a time when they go there. And the main issue there that they go is actually to support a training. That is the most important thing that we can do. So uh, I cannot emphasize how important that is to ramp up the training of radiologists. And the beautiful thing is that the same way I am talking to you, I have about 18 people actually logged in right now. I could have been teaching radiology to 18 people. So these new technologies actually allow us to have like major multiplier effects. We had a similar uh, presentation that we did in December that's been posted on YouTube. When we did that presentation, we made a point of going actually live on that particular program. And we had 250 people tuned in from across the world uh, listening to our particular presentation. And we did nothing different from that presentation. That was a standard presentation we would have done for any uh, radiology uh, department. So it is my belief that we can really ramp up training by leveraging all these new technologies. So I think it's not really far-fetched that by the year 2030, we should have more than 500 radiologists uh, in Tanzania. And uh, so that is the plan. And uh, we have a hashtag that's kind of like tagged to these uh, efforts. And that's called basically 1,000 uh, 1, uh, RAS for TZ. And that's going to be part of the movement that we're basically pushing this. And so as you see all of these things sort of coming together is that the PAX is basically sort of an enabling technology. So basically, when you have the PAX installed, now I could be teaching a radiology resident in a different institution. So I don't have to go to KCMC. So the resident from, from uh, KCMC could share that image with me while I'm at Moimbili or um, here at Yale, and we could actually have a consultation and discussion. And so the, really, the PAX is really just the beginning. And while people have been really congratulating us, and we're very, very thankful for that, it's really just the beginning. And I am very thankful that there are many people who are sort of tuned in, and many people are very excited uh, about these efforts. Uh, so to anything that you can help support this effort, we're really, really most grateful. And for those who are joined in live, if uh, you probably prefer more in English, I'm happy to switch in English. Or if you're more prefer in Swahili, I'm happy to switch in Swahili. Or we can do both, as I did with this just uh, last uh, question. Asante. Okay. All right. So we were able to cover Mfumo uh, uh, Apax uh, and, uh, and appear to cover Mpangwetu uh, Akuongeza uh, uh, Training at Radiologist Tanzania. So there are two other things I want to uh, uh, put in a plug while uh, people are still uh, listening here. So people have asked me, okay, what is the ask? Like, what, what is the call to action, uh, uh, you know, after this uh, watching uh, this video? Like, what, what could you potentially do? So the call to action is twofold. Call, uh, one uh, is to... Uh, uh, Find a way to get involved in healthcare. So uh, really, really find a way to get involved in healthcare. Uh, Maranyingi people have a misconception, Kwamba, you know, uh, 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 the healthcare, uh, strengthening the healthcare system is really uh, just a job for doctors. And I really think they could not be uh, further from the truth in terms of like that being a misconception. But clearly, the whole healthcare sector, we really need everybody to sort of step into that sector. And there's a lot that the diaspora can do towards this effect. A lot of people in the diaspora are exposed uh, to uh, the modern medicine here. So if anything, they can actually be a witness to those uh, in Tanzania, and they can also be advocates. So there's a big portion in advocate uh, in our healthcare forum that we held in uh, Maryland uh, this past November. That became very apparent to me that there's a lot that the diaspora can do in just sharing, in just vetting like good information. Uh, there's a lot that can be done. Uh, so whether it's around like mental health care stuff, whether it's around like stigma stuff, whether it's around like family planning stuff, whether it's around like issues like maternal mortality, there's a lot that the diaspora can do just to advocate, to make sure that healthcare is really number one priority. And, uh, you know, really that's going to be one of my crusades for the next 10 years or so, is to basically recruit anybody who will listen to me to kind of get involved in healthcare and education for that matter. I really believe Kwamba, you know, Afia and Elimu basically the ones that we show up for all the other sectors. So basically, if you cannot get a good hospital, if you cannot get a good school, uh, everything else that we're doing in the country to me is, 
of a lower priority. And it so turns out actually the population, uh, similar to the population here. So I will just give you an example. When people basically are looking for houses, when you're looking for where to relocate with the family, there are top two things that people look for. One is a school district, which is Elimu, and they also look to see are they nearby a good healthcare system. So people will get a good job just based on that good job will gonna give them access to good healthcare. And they're also going to purchase their house based on the fact that their kids are gonna have actually good education. So I think it's important to realize that everybody wants the same thing, I mean, whether in the United States or whether in Tanzania. Everybody wants good schools, everybody wants good hospitals. So basically, Afya and Ailim is really uh, two sectors that all of us can sort of get involved in. So many of us have sort of started these discussions. Uh, we can connect on many other platforms. Uh, now I'm on Facebook, uh, there's LinkedIn, uh, there's those hashtags we can basically follow for those who are really active on social media. Promoting this agenda is probably the most important thing that we can do. I really would like to see more Tanzanians paying attention to what is happening in the classrooms. I would like more Tanzanians to pay attention to what is happening in the hospitals, because that is really what is actually affecting us directly. And I find that we spend a lot of energy uh, uh, in political forums instead of actually where it really matters, which is really in the classrooms and in the in the hospitals. So what could you do immediately? Uh, part of uh, me, I've been involved with uh, Maindileo, organization of which Amani Kitali is now uh, the executive director. What do we do with that organization? What we do with uh, Maindeleo is we support uh, excellence in medical, medical education. And we do that by basically providing scholarships to the best students at the medical schools, because that is really the future of medicine in Tanzania. So we basically award them scholarships of $500. Uh, and we've been doing that for the last uh, seven to eight years, and it's been going really well. And uh, Aman, if you could be so kind to post a link to that so people can go directly and make contributions, we'll be so grateful. And the other thing, when you go to the link, please take a moment to read the testimonies of these medical students, because really these are the future doctors. And if we do not support our future doctors, I'm not sure who will. So it's really, really important that we find a way to sort of, you know, get uh, get involved, uh, involved uh, uh, in that. Sorry, I wasn't scrolling, so I didn't really see... Uh, 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 some of the questions, but I'm actually going to try to like, you know, answer that. Uh, and just, uh, okay, so I'm going to go to the questions now. I see like, and Tina says, uh, in your radio interview last week, you mentioned it took you two years to convince Moy to adopt PACS. What were the barriers? What is the cost issue, bureaucracy, etc.? cetera? Uh, what aspects of your pitch led them to be convinced? Was it relationships you built over time or your persistence? Please excuse language, uh, please uh, translate. Okay. All right, so don't get to uh, sorry, she wants me to speak in Swahili. So, and I know it's a quaninia which come here, come here, uh, convince a moi to adopt packs. Wakati na dani pato mungia ko karibu da kishiri na dani wengi mona manufaya packs. Quaninia which come here, One, a kitu ki moja ni kumba to record to na kiongelea ko mfumo wa we call conceptual zaid. Yani kumba to record to yonyesha kumba ina wezekana Tanzania. Na ni me gundo eicho ni kitu mbacho ni me difunza sana Tanzania kumba. Ukiwa unaleta idea mpya ambayo watu wajazoea ni muhimu sana ulete kwamba ulete uh, yani ulete a uh, pilot yani waonyeshe pale pale Tanzania kwamba inafanya ni sasa ule uwe pale Tanzania and then uanze kumwelezea mtu nini smartphone na umuhimu wa smartphone na kwamba smartphone inaweza kukoste karibu dola 500 na umbo nipe dola 500 kwa sababu utakuwa na hicho kifaa ambacho kina manufaa sana sidhani kama inafaa i, katika mfumo wetu wa Tanzania ukija na picha tu ukija na maongezi ukija na proposal powerpoint nini sidhani kama zina 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 ushawishi kama watu wakija wakaiona ile simu wakapiga picha na ile simu wakaitumia wakajua kwamba sio kitu ambacho kinahitaji kwamba uwe na elimu sana ili uweze kuitumia na iwe na manufaa kwako kwa hiyo the most important lesson yani uh, uh, funzo kubwa katika ile presentation yetu ya moi nilijua ni kwamba Lazima ukileta mfumo pale nyumbani uje na prototype uje na mfano ule mfumo na uhakikishe kwamba unafanya katika mazingira yale yale. Yaani ufanye kwenye mazingira kwamba umeme huenda ukakatika, uh, mtandao unaweza ukakata, uh, saa nyingine kompyuta haifanyi, uh, sio kompyuta zote ambazo ni za uh, latest na greatest kwamba zote zina Windows 10 and so forth. Kwa hiyo cha, cha msingi ni kuhakikisha kwa, kwamba Chochote ambacho tunashawishi serikali ifanye ni umuhimu kwamba tufanye uh, uh, majaribio na tufanye yale majaribio katika mazingira, mazingira yetu ya nyumbani. So I think that's the most important lesson. Na ndiyo maana ilipelekea kwamba tulivu enda uh, Bugando haikuchukua, haiku, ilich, yani ilichukua miezi miwili tu kwa convince kwamba waweze 
kuinstall mfumo huo na ilichukua siku tatu kumfunga mfumo huo ambao ilichukua karibu miezi kadhaa pale moyo kuweka sawa kwa hiyo tunajaribu kutumia yale mafunzo kuboresha huduma pengine kwa hiyo hapa tuna mtu mwingine amejiunga anaitwa Norman Billy Jonas karibu sana says most radiological equipments are very expensive what approach do you think we should take as a developing country that we have enough number of equipments in our hospitals but of good quality but affordable uh, price um hilo ni swali zuri uh, so ukisema kwamba radiological equipments are very expensive uh, basically kwamba ni gari sana tunasema ni gari sana kutegemea na nini so uh, basically kulinganisha na nini tuseme hicho uh, hicho hicho ndio kwanza cha, cha, cha msingi kwa hiyo mathalan Uh, uh, mfumo wa x-ray na mfumo wa ultrasound kwa kweli sidhani kama ni gari kiasi hicho kwamba haiwezekani nadhani hospitali nyingi za Tanzania katika level ya wilaya nadhani zina at least ultrasound na x-ray uh, hivi nimeviona kwa sababu nimefika mpaka hospitali ya, ya mkoa ya Shinyanga na nimejionea mwenyewe kwamba wana ultrasound ambayo sio mbaya ya kisasa na wana, na x-ray uh, ya kisasa kwa hiyo kwa, kwa, kwa level ya ultrasound na x-ray nadhani hospitali zote za wilaya zinatakiwa zifikie hapo. Je, yeah. sasa kanye zile teknolojia za CT scan na MRI. Uh, kweli ni gari, lakini ni gari kulinganisha na nini? Maana ni gari, yani lazima uli, uweke uwiano kwamba you know CT scan mo, well, CT scan moja inaweza kafika karibu dola laki moja. Alright? So dola dola laki moja na MRI machine itafika dola milioni moja. Na ni kweli ni gari sana. Lakini ile inaweza kuokoa maisha uh, uh, ikaokoa watu wangapi ikaboresha mfumo wa rufaa kwa hiyo nadhani tusiongelee kwamba uh, equipment ni expensive tuongelee kwamba ni kuwekeza na kuweka kama kama mtaji utaona kwamba tulivyokuwa tunajaribu kuwashawishi moyo wafunga huu mfumo wa PAX tulitaja kwamba itatugarimu dola 1060 uh, za kimarekani tufunge mfumo na within one year utakuwa umerekupi ile hela sawa na ile bado ile ule mtaji ukaonekana kwamba ni mwingi sana lakini tunakuwa kwamba tumefunga mfumo na sasa hivi wameshaokoa karibu dola laki mbili kwa hiyo ungesema kwamba tusifunge ule mfumo kwa sababu ni gari sana hata ile utaweza kuokoa hela kwa hiyo nadhani tuende kwa karibu yani swali lilenge zaidi kwenye je tutawekeza vipi kwenye sekta afa uh, rather than tutachukua teknolojia teknolojia tutafanya teknolojia vipi iwe uh, yani yani chip zaidi uh, kwa sababu nadhani teknolojia nzuri itakosti ita hela kwa hiyo nadhani ni kitu cha kuwekeza lakini pia kuna mwanga mwingi kwamba kuna te, hizi teknolojia kadi zinapokwenda zinakuwa uh, za bei rahisi zaidi na kuna ultrasound sasa hivi ambazo zitafikia uh, chini ya dola 2000 na kwa kweli tunafanya mikakati mingi kwamba tuifukuzie na i, uh, uh, tuweze tuweze kuwawezesha wa, wa, watu watu wengi zaidi Okay. So tunaendelea. So amani nadhani pamoja na kuweka hiyo uh, uh, link ya maendeleo labda tu uweke na pia watu ambao wanaweza kuweka directly hizo waweza kuchangia kwenye hiyo fundraising uh, campaign. Lunda anasema uh, uh, please uh, like Dakota on Facebook na kwa kweli na encourage diaspora wote tujiunge kwenye Dakota kwa kweli Dakota imejikita vizuri sana uh, kwenye uh, uh, mambo ya kisekta kwa hiyo tumekaa zaidi kwenye sekta Uh, na, na ambayo inasaidia ku, kuziba pengo ambalo kwa kweli jumuiya zaidi huwa inahusika zaidi na mambo ambayo yamekaa kwenye kwenye state mbalimbali. Kwa hiyo tukakuta jumuiya ya Texas inahusika na mambo ya Texas, jumuiya ya DMV inahusika na mambo ya DMV ambayo ni sahihi lakini nadhani uh, kwenye dikota zaidi tunajaribu zaidi tujikite kwenye mambo ya sekta na sekta ambazo kidogo tumejitahidi kidogo mwenye sekta afi kidogo na ndio tumeweza kuishikia bango lakini kuna mambo ya investment mambo ya innovation mambo ya industrialization kwa hiyo kama uh, wewe uko interested na unajaribu ku, kuchangia na kubadilisha uh, kuboresha hizi sekta kule nyumbani kwa kweli tunaomba sana uh, mtuunge mkono tutakuwa pamoja uh, 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 around labor day kwa kweli nitashukuru sana kama wengi mtajiunga mta pale Ah, Daudi Mayocho anasema Dr. Frank Menja, what are the strategic long term goals to involve diaspora in order to promote health such as radiology uh, in Tanzania? Mfano mimi niko kwenye IT. Uh, how do you tap into brain power? Daudi Mayocho. Okay. So, uh, what are the long term goals to involve diaspora? Well, I am involving you right now. I can do travel again. Ah, kwa kweli sasa hizi kama ninaweza katamka kwamba uh, long term goals uh, uh, za za Dakota per se, Dakota is a platform kwa hiyo I, i feel kwamba kuna yani uhitaji wa watu kwenye sekta afya ni yani ni, ni mkubwa mno kiasi kwamba hata serikali haiwezi kutatua tatizo lake wenyewe 
So kwamba kila mtu lazima ajikite kwa nafasi yake. Kwa hiyo tunachojaribu hapa kuongelea ni kwa kwa hapa watu yani upenyo ili wao wajitathmini wenyewe wajue ni jinsi gani anaweza kusaidia. For example kama wao mbaba umejikita kwenye IT nadhani kwenye hii project ya Pax itakusaidia vibaya sana. Uh, nitamke ni tu kwamba ile project tulipofanya pale Moi the only reason ilifanikiwa ni kwa sababu nilikuwa nafanya uh, kazi karibu na Gilbert Herman wa Softnet ambaye ofisi zake ziko pale Fire Opanga kwa hiyo nenda kumtembelea nikamsomesha kuhusu hii project ya Pax na kitu ambacho tulikuwa tunahitaji ili tuanze ni server na yani utaona kwamba kukosekana tu kwa server ilikuwa kwamba hicho tushinda kwamba hatungeweza kufanya hiyo pilot exercise bila kuwa na server na bila kuwa na utaalamu wa kufunga ile server kwa hiyo kwa wale watu ambao wa IT wanao tusikiliza Well, kama hii fursa itapanuliwa ita itaenda kwenye let's say hospitali za wilaya uh, hospitali za mkoa like Tanzania obviously kutakuwa inahitajika na watu wengi sana wa IT ili kufanya hii kazi iende haraka you know sisi tunaweza kusaidia kusema kwamba hii teknolojia inafaa lakini mimi siwezi kwenda kufunga ile server kwa hiyo lazima nimtegemee mtu wa IT kutusaidia kufanya hizo kwenye IT kwenye IT huo ni mfano mmoja tu wa jinsi gani ambapo mtu wa IT anaweza kusaidia baada ya kuelewa ni jinsi gani Uh, anaweza kuchangia kwenye 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 hiyo kwenye hiyo um, um, uh, uh, hiyo hiyo sector na na kitu kingine kwa kweli uh, ambacho uh, beyond hata kufanya kwamba kwamba kwenye IT na nini mchango mkubwa wa diaspora kwa, kwa, kwa mtazamo wangu mimi ni ku, ni ku basically kuweka focus kwenye sekta za elimu na sekta za afya right watu wengi ambao tuko hapa tukija kwenye kwenye uh, tukija hapa kwenye Marekani tunahakikisha kwamba watoto wetu wanakwenda kwenye shule ambazo the best schools na tunahakikisha kwamba sisi tukiumwa tunaenda kwenye hospitali ambazo ni bora zaidi na nidhani ningependa kwamba kwa sababu wengi bado familia zetu ziko nyumbani na familia zetu uh, ni ndugu zetu kwa, kwa namna moja au nyingine watu wote ambao tuko diaspora kuna watu ambao wanatuhusu ambao wanakwenda kwenye shule ambazo sio bora sana wanatibiwa kwenye hospitali ambazo sio bora sana na wote tunafusa kwa namna moja au nyingine ya kusaidia kuziboresha kuziboresha uh, uh, zile zile shule na zile hospitali. Mtatoa mfano mmoja tu ambao kila mara nikiongelea hichi kitu huwa uh, kinanigusa kidogo uh, wiki iliyopita kulikuwa na picha ambayo ilikuwa nasambaa kwenye mitandao ya WhatsApp ambayo inaonyesha shule moja duni sana ambayo kidogo nadhani iko mikoa ya Kusini uh, shule ya Udongo watoto wamekaa kwenye madawati uh, shule haina paa nani kwa kweli ni shule ambayo inasikitisha kwa, kwa sisi ambao ni wazazi tuna watoto wadogo ambao ndio kwanza wako darasa la pili la tatu na nini kwa kweli nisingependa wala singekubali mtoto wangu aende kwenye kwenye shule kama ile sasa nikiona hali kama ile na ninajua kwamba wengi ambao tuko hapo tuna uwezo wa kufanya chochote kufanikisha you know basically kubadili ile hali nadhani lazima tutoke kwenye sehemu moja kwamba tunakasirika tunatoa comments online alafu naendelea na mambo mengine nadhani labda tuanze kuingia kiundani zile picha zikitoka tujiulize sasa sisi tunafanya nini tukishakasirika what's the next step sisema kwamba tusikasirike ukishakasirika sasa unafanya nini so hiyo ndio issue moja kwa diaspora like ukishaona ile hali kwamba hii hali haifai sasa wewe unafanya nini kujaribisha kuboresha kuboresha ile hali and then kwa upande mwingine kwa Tanzania ingetakiwa kwamba kuwa na uwezekano wa watu ku, kubadilisha hizi hali kwa uraisi zaidi for example kama ile tukaona ile picha tukajua hii picha imetoka wilaya gani, kijiji gani, mkoa gani, whatever. Je, yeah, pale kuna kiongozi yote ambaye sisi tunaweza kukafanya naye kazi? Je, yeah, tukabadilisha tukaweka kabla darasa jingine zuri zaidi kwa wale watoto, tukabadilisha ile hali ya elimu ya pale. So nadhani ni watu kwa katika mlengo wa kufanya vitendo na sio uh, kutoa feedback na comments. Kwa sababu issue zaidi ni mfumo. Yaani yaani hapo ndio mwanzo mpaka mwisho. Yaani lazima tuende kwamba tunajaribu kuboresha mfumo. So sio kwamba tunajaribu kulaumu sisemi kwamba mambo yote yako sawa lakini tuna nafasi kubwa sana ya kuboresha na kuimarisha mifumo pale nyumbani so so hii yani pax tuliyofanya ni kitu kimoja tu inatupa tu mi excuse na inanipa platform kidogo ya, ya kupiga you know debe kidogo kwa kitu tulichofanya ni lakini zaidi ni kuonyesha kwamba mimi ni kama nyie na kwa kweli tumetokea sehemu moja kwa kiasi kikubwa I mean, na hapa kuna classmates wangu ambao wote tumesoma nao Azania wengine nao tumefanya nao kazi kama unavyosema kina Gilbert Herman uh, tumesoma muhimbili kwa yani ni watanzania wale wale tumekule hii hiyo Dar es Salaam wazee wako nyuma so yani kama mimi naweza kufanya na naamini kuna wengi pia ambao wanaweza kufanya zaidi kwa hiyo tumekuwa labda watu 100 200 tunafanya vitu hivi kwa kweli mambo yangebadilika sana pale nyumbani kwa hiyo huo ndio wito wangu zaidi ni kwamba watu wajikite zaidi kwenye 
kujaribu kufanya na kuunganika na watu ambao wanajaribu kufanya na kwa kweli kuna watu wengi sana ambao wanafanya vitu vizuri na na dikota tunajaribu kwa kiasi kikubwa kuwapa mwanga na kuwapa fursa ya kuongelea zaidi na katika hili nadhani nataka nimpongeze tu Mbelo Bandio na na radio yake uh, ya kwanza radio ambayo kwa kweli natupa diaspora fursa kubwa ya kuwafikia wa Tanzania na tumeweka mkazo zaidi kwamba kwa kadri tunavyoweza tuongee kwa Kiswahili ili wa Tanzania wa kawaida pia waweze kusikia tunachoongea na wajue diaspora ni nani na tunafanya nini na tuna malengo gani uh, maana mara nyingi sana watu wakisikia tu diaspora basi wanajua kila mtu anataka uraia pacha lakini sio sio sana sio sana kiivo uh, wengine bado tuna passport zetu za Tanzania ni sawa tu kwa hiyo ni, ni uchaguzi wa mtu lakini cha msingi ni kwamba tujaribu kuboresha maisha ya wenzetu ambao kwa Tanzania ambao pia ni familia zetu ni basi ni, ni kwetu so namna moja nyingine uh, aijalishi passport ina nayo cha msingi ni kwamba kuna watu ambao wanakufuata nyuma na ambao wangetegemea kidogo kwa sisi ambao tumeona na tumepata tume fursa hizi tuweze kuwa kuboresha maisha yao in one way or the other na na je kama ni kushabikia tu mifumo ya ongezeko na nini hiyo ni sawa na kama utaweza kuweka mchango mwingine kama utaweza kuunganisha watu wa Marekani nao watusaidie Tanzania hiyo ni sawa tu ama utaweza kushabikia utalii wa Tanzania maana utalii ukija Tanzania unaboresha uh, uh, ajira Tanzania hivyo ni sawa tu kwa hiyo kwa nafasi yako yani mwenyewe utakapojisikia wengine labda mko uh, more comfortable kwenye Instagram more comfortable kwenye Facebook Twitter nini basi tujitangaze kwa nia ya kujenga nchi na kujenga mfumo na nini basi tutatoka tu itachukua muda lakini nadhani tutasonga mbele okay naona kama muda unayoyoma kidogo so um, uh, na, 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 naona kama dakika nne tano hizi na I have all intention kumaliza on time so uh, so ujumbe nini so ujumbe kama ndivyosema ni kwamba kwa kweli uh, diaspora wote kwa nafasi yetu uh, tutafute tu kwa nafasi yetu ni jinsi gani tutaweza kuboresha mifumo nyumbani. Uh, kwa kweli kama wewe uko passionate na na uh, sekta ya afya ama sekta ya ya, ya elimu uh, naomba tuwasiliane kwa kweli uh, nadhani tunapatikana kwa kwa urahisi tu whether tuko kwenye Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever. Wewe utajisikia tu kwa, kwa kwa nafasi yako. Lakini kwenye hizo sekta mbili za afya na elimu nadhani tutajaribu kuishikia de- debe uh, kwa sababu alisi ni sekta ambazo mimi nazifahamu na ambazo ambazo nazifanyia kazi kila siku so it's easy for me uh, to speak of uh, of healthcare and education uh, kwa sababu ni daktari na pia ni mwalimu kwa hiyo ni, ni, ni it comes natural for same kama hizo ndio sekta za muhimu tu Tanzania sekta zote ni muhimu lakini hizo ni sekta ambazo mimi kidogo nazielewa kwa undani na najua kwamba zinawagusa wananchi wengi kwa karibu sana uh, na kwa, kwa namna moja au nyingine wote na nadhani tumeguswa tuna ndugu ambao tungependa labda wapate matibabu bora zaidi uh, tuna ndugu ambao tungependa labda wapate mafunzo na elimu nzuri zaidi basi kwa kadri ambayo tutaweza kusaidia hilo lifanyike uh, kwa kweli basi tuungane mkono pamoja and then immediately uh, kwa kweli uh, huo mkutano wa Dakota na pia tutaupigia uh, debe sana uh, kwa kweli tutakuwa ni mkutano ambao tunajaribu tuweke content content iwe katika hali ya juu na na najua kwamba watu ambao tutakuwa pale ni watu ambao ni serious na ambao wanajaribu kufanya uh, mabadiliko kule nyumbani. Kwa hiyo I think we're going to inspire each other tulifanya tu ka uh, uh, forum dogo ya healthcare pale uh, uh, Maryland uh, in November uh, tulikuwa na watu karibu uh, uh, 130 lakini everybody nadhani alikubali kwamba wote we were so inspired kwa sababu kuna watu wengi 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 sana ambao wanafanya kazi nzuri mno na kila siku naunganishwa nao Na wale basi watu wale wanakupa moyo. Maana saa nyingine unasikia story ambazo kwa kweli they are depressing uh, in, in the most part lakini nadhani ukisikia story ambazo kwa kweli hazipati airwaves, hazipati promotion uh, uh, ipasavyo uh, I think we're all very encouraged. So cha msingi ni kwamba kuna hizo hashtag pia tuzitumie. Kwa hiyo tuna hashtag yetu ya uh, TZ Diaspora Afya uh, kuna Dakota uh, 2018 basi na hiyo like 1000 uh, rads for TZ tuliheri kuzitumia hizo hashtag ili tuweze kuweka mwanga kwenye hii sekta ya afya na iweze kuimarika na wale ambao wanataka kutumia hashtag weke kwenye nyingine ya elimu kwa kweli tunawakaribisha sana uh, kuna nafasi kubwa mno kuna nafasi kubwa mno i just cannot uh, uh, emphasize na watu huwa wanauliza wanasema okay um, okay so what 
So what are the bottlenecks? Well, the bottlenecks are bandwidth, okay? There's only so much uh, bio you can do in 24 hours. There's only so much you can do wakati kuna majukumu mengine ambayo ni pamoja na kazi yako ya kawaida, kuna majukumu ya kifamilia and so forth. Lakini nadhani tukunganika wengi, then ile kazi haiwi ngumu sana kivo. Kwa hiyo naomba tusiwe wagumu sana, tusiomba yani kuombwa, tunaomba like red carpet na nini tujitolee tu tuwe wepesi. Uh, and then but if we do that then then mambo inakuwa rahisi na hizi network kwa kweli zinarahisisha naona basi mda wetu tunaanza kufikia tamati na washukuru sana uh, i see almost 29 30 people of lockdown na live uh, tunawashukuru shukuru sana kwa kweli uh, kwa kutupa fursa na kutusikiliza basi sambazo ujumbe kwamba kuna fursa nyingi hizo hashtag tunaendelea kuzipromote and so forth na washukuru kwa muda wenu na tutakomea hapo asanteni sana